So welcome everyone. We're gonna get started with Mortal Kombat 1 season three of Invasion. And of course we already finished the other previous messes. So the previous one was the Fire Temple. But you do want to check out the rest of them. I'll leave the video and the playlist down in the description. But basically what I'm going to do is go from point A to point B, all the way straight ahead or whatever direction we had to go through the routes for the mini boss battle and the final boss battle. But we're also we're going to get the key item as well. We're also going to go through the green portals to check what kind of treasure chest we could get from the items. And as well, we are going to do every single treasure chest, like the clue battles and all that stuff. But we're going to leave that at the very end of the video. So for right now, we're going to get started with the living forest. We're going to go through the first battle right here. And as well, I will show you the route on how to get to the mini boss battle and the final boss battle. So you don't have to, you know, see where everything is or what path do I have to go to. I am going to show you that. But first, let me get to the mini boss battle. Oh, there we go. So looks like we found the portal. So <clears throat> just going to show you guys everything on the treasure chests themselves. So right here, here's the first treasure chest. Got a consumable, Melina's palette, and of course, uh, seasonal credits. So for the green portal, it's going to be like right in the middle. I'll show you guys in just a bit. But yeah, I just took a right turn and that's where the portal is. So it's pretty much a good thing that <laughs> the portals are not locked behind a gate. So there you go. We got Katana's palette. Because I think in season one, where you had to use Sang Shun, if you did not pre-order him, uh, the laboratory green portal was locked behind uh, that gate over there. So very unfortunate. Uh, Liu Kang skin. There you go. So we got, oh, another booster. Okay, and then seasonal credits. Uh, I'll discard this one. I guess I gotta use them just in case. So defense and magic resistance. Interesting, but yeah. Yeah, I do remember season one, you had to use <coughs> uh, Sanction. I think you had to do a... I could be wrong, but I know you need him to do a certain clue to do his fatality. But most importantly... You had to open the gate uh, for season one in order to get to the green portal. So there you go. We got Scorpion skin, another relic, uh, Scorpion's gear, and seasonal credits. And that's pretty much it. That's the green portal right there. Very nice. I'm surprised that even previously, like the very final uh, route right there, it's it's always going to be like a test or my, but I guess they changed that. But yeah, here we are in the tower. So all you have to do is go to this checkpoint right here, the this entrance right here. So it's basically like right in the middle, but no other way. And you go to the right and the green portal will automatically activate for you. But right now I need to do the tower because we do have Bob there. So I probably don't need Bob here. Uh, I'm still checking around, but uh, I feel like I do need him just to make things quicker. I guess you could say that. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And right now I'll show you just a bit where the media boss battle is. Okay, I'm going to show you the path to the media boss battle real quick. So you start off right here. And all you have to do is just follow to the right side. And yeah, very unfortunate that basically everything is still the same thing as uh, the previous seasons for the Living Forest. Nothing must has changed. It's just that they changed the pattern. Now you can go up or you can go left. But if you go out, there is a clue battle over there for a treasure chest. So you want to do that. You can do that. But once again, you have to do the tower. You cannot uh, skip it. You have to do it. But once you go right here in the middle, you just go all the way straight. Just go all the way straight, guys. Everything else around here is just extra battles for you to do but once again all you have to do is just go all the way straight and here we are at the third level and this will be the final boss battle i'm surprised it's not showing it but it's lee may so final surprise so let's get started and let's see what we do for for this boss battle or meeting one as a royal my 
life is never my own. Your mother often felt the palace of prison. Oh. All right, there we go with Lee May. So let's see how we do with her. But it should be pretty simple because I do have my war horn. <laughs> I know it's surprising that I have not changed to a different talisman. Probably I should. Uh, just to see the difference between them because I think, well, yeah, the war horn feels a little bit uh, not the good side because it doesn't have a lot of projectiles. It has damage, kind of. But let's do it again. I mean, Lee Mei, that's why you have to block. You have to block low. But there we go, guys. We finished with the mini boss battle. Not that hard. But we're good to go right here. And most likely we are going to get, yeah, her skin and her gear and seasonal credits. So there you go. So we have finished the mini boss battle. Real simple, real easy. The only thing that we have to do left is just find the key item and as well do the boss battle, which is most likely going to be probably over there in that corner. So I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, so I did found the boss battle gate. So all I did was go all the way straight up. Now, if you go to the left, just remember that there is the the Cryomancer heart gate over there. So you do need it. So I'm not going to go over there to the left side. But I just went straight up, took a ride right here, and then you're going to take another left. And here's the gate. So we need... Can choose tail, so that's what we need. But unfortunately, I haven't found the uh, key item. But we did find a collector. But unfortunately, this collector has talisman, so looks like I'm still missing the other collector. And probably I have to go back and find it. So it looks like to get the key item, it looks like it's going to be from a tower. So I think it probably has to be this one on the left side because we're kind of already at the end. But there's also other stuff that we could do right here, right? Another clue battle. It's interesting that there's a clue battle here, but I do not know what it's going to do. Like, I'm not sure what is its purpose. Oh, to go through. Oh, okay. It looks like it takes us somewhere else. Okay, I'll, I guess we'll do that uh, once we get to the treasure chest. So right now, let me do this uh, tower. And I guess this is where the key item would be. Okay, so we finished the final character in the tower. So there you go. We got the key item. And everything else is just credits and coins. But it looks like these two are from the daily quest. But that's pretty much it. That's all we need in order for us to open the locked gate. Because, of course, Piracy, I think in Season 2, uh, some of the key items were locked behind some clue battles. All you had to do is do the fight. You didn't have to do the clue or anything. Just do the fight and you will get the key item. But now here, it looks like they've returned back to the tower. So right now we're going to go to right here, the final boss. So here we go with the log gate. Let us open it. And we're going to try our best to finally finish this whole entire living forest. But first, let me just put some points on myself. But don't worry, guys. I will also show the treasure chest and some of the clue battles that we can do so that we can basically get all the items that we can get in the mesa uh so we have one more battle to go i oh, know this is the final battle okay because <laughs> unlike and i think it was the which one was it again i just want to double check i think it was the village or tarkana conley where you had to fight an extra battle i'm not sure why but right now let's take on tanya and let's see what she has to offer. Haven't we fought enough today? Do you wish to be trained or not, your highness? <laughs> All right, here we go with Tanya. Fight. So let's see what she has to offer. Huh, that's interesting. Oh no, she has armor everything, kind of. Oh, very nice that she's able to... Wow. 
She's able to react to everything. Okay. Or at least cameos don't cause a lot of damage. That's a good thing. Let's go up, Tanya. Ah, oh, no. I did not have no meter. All right. That's fine. All right. Second round. Huh. She has green aura now. I think, yeah, she gives herself, like, sort of, like, some sort of armor. All right, let's do our final one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Or unless our health decreases, because it could be, like, yeah, our health does decrease. It's basically, like, poison. But let's end it off right now. Sorry, Tanya. And there we go. We finished with Tanya and we got her skin right here. And we also get her gear and her seasonal credits. So yeah, that's pretty much it right there for the Mesa, for the mini boss battle and of course the boss battle. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> the whole sky just went, it lit up, but then I went back to being all dark. Okay, that's interesting. So now... Let's go to the portal, and it looks like we're going to go to Sang Shun's Laboratory. And it looks like, hopefully, we're probably going to do the same thing as the other previous two seasons, was start from the bottom and then work our way to the top. That's basically how it has been all the time for Sang Shun's Laboratory. Oh, no. Okay, so we're starting from the top now. Because, yeah, the previous two seasons... We started from the bottom, and then we have to work our way up to the top. So, right now we don't need to do that, or do sanctions abort her right now. So, I'm going to go back right here to the Mesa, and I'm going to go to every single treasure chest that I have went through, and show you how to unlock them. So, I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. So, the first clue battle that we're going to do is going to be over here on the left side. Where basically you take this a little shortcut to go to the tower, which you do have to complete. But we're going to go to the left side. And then we're going to go down. And this is where we do need a key item. So unfortunately I need to get some, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back with some more keys. Of course, there's one collector somewhere around the back corner over here of the entrance. So I have not done that or try to find him i just went to the fire temple to get some keys but there we go we got combo mambo relic okay it's like a piece of gum uh then johnny cage and we have baraka's palette so there you go very nice uh combo mambo that's interesting that's not bad for a name for at least uh a gum so there you go so it's a legendary so your combos no longer scale damage Land a 10 hit combo to instantly regain all meter. You will auto taunt after each combo. You get no meter from attacks or blocks. Okay, I'm not sure what is this one, like what is the purpose of this one? Because your combos no longer scale damage. I think what it means is that you can do damage no matter uh, what kind of combo you're doing. Like it's not going to scale for you, like downscale it. So. I think that's not bad. Uh, so right now we're going to go to the second one, which is pretty simple. You just go, go all the way to the right side, or you could go on top of the tower. And we're going to do this clue battle right here, which is uh, Lee Mei. So we need Deadly uh, Tail. Now to do this one, we need to do a Serena or Metaro Fatality, it looks like. Um, not sure which one's the right one. Okay, well, guys, uh, it looks like this is a glitch. As you can see, I could go right through. And I just did Mataros and Serena's. I'm not sure which one's the right one. But I just went, now I could go through. So it looks like this is a glitch. So very unfortunate that all you have to do is either Serena's or Mataros Fatality. I'm not sure which one caused it because... 
I did Serena's fatality again a third time. And I was like, why has the barrier not broken? And I just went forward like, oh. So I'm guessing this is a little glitch that this one has. But let us open the treasure chest. And then we get a relic. Johnny's case palette and seasonal credits. So, yeah. Uh, let's just double check on that relic real quick. But yeah, it's very unfortunate. It was a little bit confusing when I saw that. Like, wait, hold on. Like, why isn't the barrier, like, shattering or anything? So, take 30% damage you deal. Elemental resistance increased by 50%. Wow. That's not bad. But depending on what battles will <laughs> have a lot of elemental resistance, stuff like that. So, right now, let's get on to the next uh, treasure chest. All right, so our next treasure chest is going to be right here where the tower is when you had to complete it to continue on through the whole Mesa. You're just going to go to the left, keep going to the left, and you're going to go down, and you have the next treasure chest right here. So make sure you have a key. So let us open it right now and see what we will get. So we got another talisman, uh, General Shao's palette, and then more seasonal credits. So very nice. So just remember that you do need a lot of these uh, keys in order to open the treasure chest. And let's go to the next one. All right. So the next clue battle treasure chest that we have to do is right here on the right side. So once you pass the bridge, you're going to go to the right. Of course, you have to do the two battles here. And then what we need to do is do Goro's Fatality. So for harm. So right now, let me switch over to the cameo of Goro. And that's all we need to do. We need to do his fatality. So right now, let's do the fight. All right, let's try it again. There we go. All right. I got the range correctly now. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that Melina's resistance to ice was pretty, pretty much very small. So I took a lot of damage from those ice meteors. But hey, we got it. Of course, you can't switch to any ice elemental character, and you should be fine with this battle. But yeah, all we need to do is Goro's Fatality. Excellent. And there we go. Let's go up, and let's open the treasure chest. And nice, we got uh, another talisman, Raiden's Palette, and Smoke's Palette. So that's what we get. So sh Shiver Shredder. So it seems like it might be the meteorite. It looks like it. It sounds like it, but 1,000 life damage and da damage to meter. Huh. I guess we could test it out some other time, but yeah, that's pretty much it right now. Let me just double check on everything if we're missing any more treasure chests. All right. Our final treasure chest is going to be right here next to the collector on the right side. So what we need to do is do Tanya's first fatality. So we need to switch over to Tanya right now. Tanya. And I guess I'll just uh, give her all the attacks just to be on the safe side. Because, of course, up to this point, like, I want to say you're not going to do a lot of damage. But, hey, you just got to be careful. So we'll do that. Let's give her that. Let's put no relics because I do want to test out that. Uh, a talisman. So yes, we need to do her first fatality. Only the first one, not the second one, just the first one. But I could do the easy fatality as well. So I'm just going to check it one more time. So helping hands. So it's this one. So the easy fatality is X, R2. So I'll probably do that. I'll just put these two just in case you guys are wondering what the first fatality is going to be. All right, we're just going to do the easy fatality. So right there, so R2 and X. Oh, sorry, Melina. I wish we didn't have to do this. Fatality. There we go. So that's the first fatality. Like I said, you could do the easy input or the easy token one or just do the normal input. But after that, huh, it looks like we can go through. Excellent. And again, this will be the final treasure chest. So you don't have to worry about anything else. I'm surprised there's like three bobs in this whole entire 
uh, Mesa. So we're going to take our teleport. I did this the first time. Interesting. Okay, that's the first time I ever see a teleport in a Mesa. And here's a chest. So I guess we don't need a key at all. So let's open it. So we got uh, the ring consumable. Then we got gears, uh, palette, and seasonal credits. And that's pretty much it. Wow. Okay, this is the first time that they actually use a teleport like this. In the previous seasons, they never had this before. But I could be wrong because I, I didn't do all the treasure chests and lock gates, I would say, for season two. But I think that's pretty much it, guys. That's the whole entire treasure chest right now for the Mesa. Of course, the one that we are missing is just over here, the log gate. So that's what we need to do uh, until next time. Because we go to the left, of course, we need to do um, that side of the Mesa so we could finally get all the other treasure chests. All right, sorry about that. We did get an ambush and there it goes again. <laughs> the whole entire screen goes daytime and then it goes nighttime. But yeah, we're still missing that lock gate over there, which we do need the key item for the final boss battle. But other than that, guys, yeah, we're done with this mess up. Yes, I could go back and do all the battles, but it's kind of more of an experience route than trying to find out if there's any good items. But until next time, we're going to go ahead and take on Sang Shun's laboratory. So we're going to start from the top and now we work our way down to the bottom. So. It's going to be pretty interesting, but of course, as always, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more and more to come back one content. As well, share with some of your friends if they want to see the whole entire guide or how to get certain treasure chests or you just want the easiest route to get to the mini boss battle or the boss battle. Share this video with them. But as always, keep on playing. Again, for a lot, guys. See you later.